Guys, welcome to Waste That Wednesday, where we go live every Wednesday with junk that we get for cheap or free, and we turn it into items that we sell in our shop and on our website at jamierayvintagehome.com. All the products we're using today, you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. If you like DIYs and makeovers, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And let's tell what we're doing today. Today we are playing with uh, salt wash and an old mirror. Let me show you the mirror real quick. And it says $10, but that was just my, I was trying to clear out my mirror's price from Girls Night Out. We actually got it for free. Okay, so you can kind of see this fun detail. Mirror's great. It's actually not even a bad color. It kind of looks like a silvery age, silver. age something or other. But we're going to turn it and make it look like copper. I think the metal underneath the metal looking effect, because it's resin, it's not metal. Um, but I think the metal effect underneath will make it really look cool and lend to it. The original manufacturer was... Uh, yes, I just turned it on. That's why you smell hair, hair dryer. Oh, <laughs> you smell something on fire. Yeah, it's just the heater. I just turned the heater on for the first time this year. <laughs> Jean came in, she's like, guys, I think the shop's on fire. The shop is on fire. Um, the original brand was Uttermost. So, but do we want to fix that? Just angle it down like a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, so they can see the mirror. Um, and my shop, my shop. Hold on. She's selling the whole shop, guys. My shirt is on jrbhome.com or jamierayvintagehome.com. Let me pull off the price tag. It's the striped shirt with accent pocket for the low, low price of $26.95. And it's like a really soft brushed cotton. It's getting cold here in Utah, so I'm busting out the long sleeved, soft, comfy. And it's nice and loose, but fits the arms, which I like. And it's a little more fitting up top. But, you know, the COVID cookies don't show, so it's a good thing. All right, so this is a two ounce salt wash scoop. You can pick this up also if you if you need some it's great for adding texture we kind of want to we don't want to go super grungy with this but we want to give it more of an old world maybe it's been in a barn hiding out a barn kind of in effect. a french chateau in the south of france pierre, i feel like that's reaching a little bit but pierre, yes <laughs> pierre the groundskeeper was cleaning it out and he found it yeah that's the story of the piece so underneath I'm, I'm mixing the salt wash with mermaid tail i've got about an ounce of salt wash in there it's a one-to-one -one if you want i'm wearing a medium donna i could definitely get away with wearing a small but i like especially in the winter a little bit extra loose um and it does have i want to show you guys because donna's is this what you this. got me to mix the salt wash with i did it's got the v cut in the side and it's kind of long covers your bum so you can wear it with leggings hang on i gotta find something to mix the salt wash with. what i got you a screwdriver that's not gonna be effective well that's what i got okay and donna's wearing her polka dot joggers i'm jealous i'm not wearing my joggers i'm wearing i'm actually wearing um some of our dark wash skinny jeans without holes you always know it's cold outside when my jeans don't have holes when I transition to winter jeans. Oh, Kai says, let's go French glam rustic. Woo woo, that's what we're doing today. As soon as Zeb finds something appropriate to mix us with. Well, that is the ticket. Like we don't have a lot. I'll just of use a, I'll just use this. Um... I'm gonna use the back of this phone. No, brush. it's fine, but we need oh, more you're paint. Gonna, you're already going. Oops. All right, more paint it is. More pain it is. How much sugar have you added already, Jamie? None. She's, so what's happening is we got here this morning. We almost didn't even have this video because we got here this morning and Jean and Christy were unloading boxes and boxes of new Christmas decor that we've recently received. And some not Christmas, just awesome stuff. And it's it, it's literally like Christmas morning over here today. Jamie is, she was going crazy and I had a hard time distracting her with the video this morning. Raining me in. Well, so here's the thing. I want, like, I ordered stuff over the last few months and like five orders came in in the last two days. So we literally have 20 new boxes, like big boxes of stuff. And it's one of the orders I've been waiting for since August. I've been very patiently waiting. So tomorrow's Stay at Home Shopping Network, we're actually going to be doing at the studio table because there's so much new stuff. Like we don't even have time to put it all displayed in the shop. So we're going to be doing a QVC style show and share of the new things on the website. And I'm super excited. Can all we right. put some more salt wash though? I we got too, too much, much paint. paint. Okay. We'll get our ratio right here eventually and start putting paint on this. Um, 
I don't, we're not going to do salt wash on the whole thing. I was just going to do like a few spots. Were you doing the whole thing? Yeah, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do a few spots. Okay. Okay. Can you get the heat gun ready though? Because we're going to need to dry it yes. pretty quick. So salt wash ratio is one to one. Make sure you're not sniffing in the salt wash powder. Um, and you can you can adjust the salt wash to the texture. Actually, um, I can't get want. the heat gun ready because it's down over behind you and the cord is right. right there. All right, it's ready to go. Here, so you I start doing do this. I just want to add it kind of around the edge. Okay. So if you can't see that, well, I'll hold it up every now and then so you can see it good, and hopefully not blind you with the light. It's a big mirror, so it's going to be hard to get on all on camera, but we're just going to hit around the edges here. And this is DIY. Robin wants the hair and my eyelashes. I can only sell you the top. My eyelashes normally don't get done until Thursday, but fall break's coming up, so I got my lashes done yesterday morning. Oops, it's not plugged in. So around the edges here, just kind of like where water might gather if it was wet, you know, things like that. And you don't really want my hair, it's dirty. I cleaned it with dry shampoo. Dry shampoo and eye cream is today's look. You could definitely make the salt wash a lot thicker, but I didn't want it to be like crazy thick. Did you take 30 minutes to sleep? We got home at midnight from my daughter's football game. And then Zeb was snoring by 12.15. I was up to 1 o'clock watching um, Star Trek. It was getting good. I was ready to go to bed at like 8 yesterday. Somebody had taken over Keiko's body, and I had to see what happened. She's talking about Deep Space Nine. Okay, sure. <laughs> and Chief O'Brien was doing some work to try to get Keiko's body back. It was very, very dramatic. Sorry, did I burn you? No. Okay. Once we get one side done, I'll let you get started on the next coat. What coat are you going to put over this coat? I'm going to go... White or skeleton key? Well, we wanted it to get a kind of like a verdigris type look. Well, we? yeah, but that's going to come with the copper, so we need to have a base color that goes over the top of it. I don't know. I think like an apothecary would be good over the top. Okay. Well, I was thinking we probably want to be using some uh, decrepit dust. We need a little oh. oh. They just watched, uh, Donna just watched the episode of Next Generation when she had Molly. I have a question about an electric fireplace with an insert that has metal around the outside. Can I paint DIY? Is that heat resistant? DIY is not heat rated, so I don't know. I don't imagine that there would be an issue with it because it's not, it's a clay based paint. It's not plastic, but I can't promise you because I haven't actually done it. What the problem with most paints is they're like a latex, which is kind of like a plastic. Um, so it would probably be a good option. Just hit the decline. <laughs> All right, let's flip this around. So look at the difference in the mermaid tail, the dry, versus, dry wet. versus the wet color. Let's go with prom queen over this because we're going to change the color quite a bit. Yeah. Here, um, just keep working the... down there. Okay. And I'll heat you this as we go because they can see that in better than they can see right here. This mirror will probably sell for around $100 when we're done. It's big. I would say the frame on the mirror is about 30 by 25. Tom Queen is a really good light blue for a French country look. This is definitely a color we saw in France often. All our France pictures are coming back up right now because we were there this time last year. I so know. if you hear us talking about it, we're like, oh, vacation. Vacation, what's that? Then not going to happen. <laughs> okay. 
Is Pedal Pusher still available? It is technically discontinued, but something we can reorder and we do carry online. So you can pick up Pedal Pusher at jamierayvintage.com. And I'm not worried about getting paint on my mirror because we'll just wash it off when we're done. All right. I'm gonna heat gun the front side of this. And we gotta start heat gunning that pedal pusher. Yeah, I'm gonna paint this side. Lots of heat gun work today because there's lots of layers, so you'll have to bear with us. the lid is. I don't know if you even tried to get this lid on that you could. This is what happens if you don't wipe off the lip of your DIY paints. They will eventually look like this as they dry over time after multiple uses. The directions with salt wash say that you're supposed to knock down the peaks. Um, I don't really worry about that. I can sand them off and if you don't mix it up super thick your peaks don't get as crazy and I didn't want like a very thick peak on this so I didn't mix it up exactly one to one. If you had a mirror that didn't have this much detail you could also use our, the IOD molds and the paper clay that we carry and take a boring mirror and make it look a lot better. We've done that many many times over the past but this one came to us with great texture. We actually have detail. two of these mirrors. Yeah. The other mirror that we have like this the mirror is loose inside so we have to take it apart and fix it. That's a bummer because it has a sealed back. Yeah, but you know, sometimes you do what you gotta do. I would say that painting mirrors is probably the easiest thing to DIY. It really doesn't take a lot of paint and it doesn't take a lot of time. So if you're new to DIYing, grab yourself a mirror the next time you go junking and get a few samples of DIY paint and a little thing of salt wash and you can have a lot of fun. Well, and you can typically flip them fairly inexpensively. Uh, there's a lot of stuff back behind the camera, guys, that I keep kicking over, sorry. Um, but you can thrift them pretty inexpensive and they make a huge impact on your house, especially if they're kind of a dated look and then you redo them to go with your decor. It's a lot can of fun. you pass me that and I'm gonna heat gun this and you can start. Yeah, I feel like this heat gun is Slacking. Can you go? It has to go under the table. Go under. I know you don't like to do that, but otherwise it drags off stuff all over the table. All right, it's coming under. All right, thanks, Amy. I'm gonna try to find the other heat gun. All right, the other heat gun has a problem, though. I think. That's okay. I'm Sorry. on the close side here. Caitlin is on a kind of vacation. Deborah says. As much of a vacation as happens around here. That's why Ivy is moderating to give Caitlin a little bit more time off. These embellishments are not would you bend. These embellish embellishments were already on here, but you could totally just use paper clay and IOD molds and get very similar look. Let's see if we can run both of these without popping the breaker. Oh, good luck. Yeah, that one's not heating up as much. It is on its last leg. It's about three, four years old. So if you're just tuning in and you want to buy salt wash and the DIY paint, you can pick that up at jamierayvintage.com. Yeah, this is more like a blow dryer. You guys, something you may not know about because yesterday's video aired at four o'clock in the afternoon and a lot of you may have been at work um there's a giveaway we have two giveaways going right now 
Um, it's part of a playlist that we did with a bunch of other people that do YouTube and a bunch of creative people. Um, you may have seen them commenting, they're in our uh, creative business coaching, but a lot of cool videos and fun holiday craft and ideas and things that go with that. But our uh, giveaway is to share that playlist and then comment on the video that you shared it. That's how you enter. So yesterday's so video. What I'm trying to say is if you haven't watched yesterday's video and the, and the playlist is in the description box, definitely check that out because Zeb and I were up super late Monday night, very slap happy and did some crafting. <laughs> so it's very entertaining. And then in our business coaching group, we have a bunch of people in there and we give them business coaching advice. And once a quarter, we do a collaboration with them and we make a playlist. Um, we'll drop that in the description box in this video too, so you can watch a playlist. And you can see not only our ideas, but the videos of other people. Usually their ideas are better, well is that, thought out. Is that getting dry? Yeah, dryish. Here, let me hit it with this one. I think I can reach it. Okay. It's just the cord is short because it's got Molly the... watched it. She said, yes, very cool. Jamie, do you realize you talk over Jeb? Do you realize that Zeb talks over me? I do it all the time. I hate to tell you. It's Nobody okay, notices so. because I'm a woman and he's a man. But yes, I do know that. After 20 years, it's like... it's it, We do it uh, mutually. Like We do a lot of talking over each other. Half of it is because she'll read a comment and jump in. And half of it is because that's how we communicate. Well, secretly, we're already communicating in our minds. And you guys don't see that. And occasionally when Zeb goes long, I'm like tapping him. Because <laughs> I need to read a comment. And he doesn't stop for comments. And I'm like, if we don't respond to this, people are going to get mad. And then it's okay. We still love each other. The talking over happens. You just have to just turn the sound off if it bothers you. <laughs> Someday you're going to get old and you're going to be able to do the same thing. You'll be like, sorry, Jamie. Click. I'm already there. I Farm already, I already can't hear good. Yeah. That's the thing. Is sometimes I'm talking and Zeb talks over me because he can't hear that I'm talking. <laughs> Um, farmhouse update, uh, siding is going on. I've been working on taxes. I thought it was done, but Zeb gave me some incorrect information. So I've got to redo those today. It was um, close. It was only about $6,000 off. <laughs> you see my eyes. I hate taxes. Anyways, as soon as I'm done with, and it's probably why if I've been a little grumpy lately, it's because I hate numbers. But anyways, um, we're, I'm going to finish doing some trim painting. Zeb, this is still, still too wet. Baggy. Yeah, but if we... Here, let's flip it over. We'll paint the rest of the mirror, and then we'll come back and work oh, on that. Okay, it should be dry because it's warm. Okay. Residual heat from the heat gun. Do they make a cordless heat gun? I don't know. It takes uh, a lot of power, so I maybe... Right, Obi might have one, but I might be thinking of their glue gun. All right, if you give me another brush, we can paint simultaneously. Or if you get yourself another brush. I've got... I'm just looking at... I got a lot of... I have lots of... French round options over here. Anna's on her way to go see <laughs> fall colors. We saw those this last week. We'll be in the farmhouse by Christmas. We are hoping to be there by the end of the month. Yeah, well, it, it won't be done. It won't be done. It will not be finished, but we will uh, we will be in it, hopefully. We're trying to get occupancy We're by the end of October. We're trying to not have to pay for a mortgage and a rent. It's been a long 15 months of that. <laughs> I was hoping to be like done with that double duty once we started paying for my son's college. But we we're we we're a few months over that. Paying, okay. paying for his college is about like having another mortgage. It is. It's actually slightly more than our mortgage every month. But that's okay because he's worth it. He's doing Harrington is doing really, really good. He's working full time. He hasn't asked for any funds. Like yeah, we're just paying for college. Like all the other stuff he's been working, he's taking care of it. He actually probably has more money to spend on stuff than I do right now. He's working like 40, 45 hours a week. And he <laughs> likely has a scholarship, which helps, but college is crazy. All right, we're going to need more of this uh, prom queen. Situation. More prom queen. I'll go get more. Sorry, I just realized we're running low here. I'm dipping the bottom of the barrel. This is the one that I heat gunned on Saturday. We probably, I don't think we have more of that out. I'll have to get a new jar. Caitlin's on here. She is answering, responding to emails and stuff. Just give her a little bit. I told her, I said, most people can wait 24 to 48 hours for a response. That's like standard turnaround time, but Caitlin's 
normally such a ninja, ninja. So vacation mode is just like regular human mode for her. Yeah, all payments, whether you talk to somebody on the phone or you order online, all go through the internet. And actually, if you go into a store and you run your credit card through the credit card machine, it goes over the internet. Some people don't realize that, but that's how everything is transferred. Whether it's in the store, over the phone, or on the website, they all have to go over the interwebs. Crazy how that works. All right, I found a sample. Perfect, because I'm getting low here. A brand new sample would probably be enough to paint oh, two or three sure. of these mirrors. There's literally like two ounces left. The only thing is, see if you can, I'm stippling, see if you can stipple that because it's fresh. Is it going to give you as much texture? Uh, I'm getting pretty good texture with this brush here. This this brush is a good, it's, uh, eating breakfast. it's the DIY version of the number 12. I don't know what the name on it is. I don't know, well-rounded? That Maybe it? that's it. I think that is it. I, you know what? The problem is we carry too many things, and I'm like, I can't remember. All well, and everybody things. changes the name of stuff, and it's hard. If you look up number twelve, if you just type in brushes in the search, this will come up. <laughs> All right. I think Zeb, that that's probably dry over there. I'm gonna go get a damp paper towel. You gonna wipe some of that back? I'm gonna wipe some of that back on the other side. Okay. Um, there's paper towels right behind the camera. Are we going to leave some of this metal poking through or are you going for 100% coverage? Um, you don't have to give 100% coverage. All right, let's move the camera over here so you guys can see. Ooh, can I borrow that brush real quick? You, we've got some paint loppage. It's lopping over. And it was not the correct way. Wasn't the good kind? It wasn't the good kind of lopping. There we go. Okay, make sure you're pouncing, because there's brushy strokes over there. Okay, I'm just using water, and I'm going to rub back some of this detail and get through to the salt wash underneath. So you can see the mermaid tail coming through. Do you guys see that? Where the texture was. If you don't wait until it's dry and you just try to wipe it off, it'll just smear your paint. Yeah, we're trying to get a layered effect. This is why we gotta let it dry, so we can get down to the or make tail underneath and I'm making a big hot mess. That's why this is taking so long. This is the stippling is taking a little bit more paint. Yeah, it takes a little bit more because we're adding texture. Okay, we're gonna go over here. It's hard to tear. They can like see up my nose. Oh. In the mirror. <laughs> Careful here, looking we'll... up that nose. I trimmed. You trimmed your nose hair? Yeah. Good job. I do it like once a week. <laughs> Every week I say, I'm going to get some rags so I can distress better, but I, I don't What worry. happens is you use the rags for a myriad of other things and they don't stay. Yeah, you know. It's hard to tell while the salt washes. This is not so much different from the stippling, but... It's okay. If some of this other texture comes through, it'll, it'll well, be Well, I'm good. trying to distress through to the salt wash color. I've got some of it in there. I'm, I'm not I'm not answering questions right now, so if you answer questions, um, Caitlin can grab those in comments, or I'll try to scroll back, because I'm. sometimes it's hard to... Question about shipping costs for paint. Is there a flat rate if you buy more than one item, or is the shipping cost for each item? It's tiered based off of the total amount you spend and the total weight. So basically based off of what it actually cost us. Um, and then sometimes we wind up paying a little bit more because of how far away they are, but we try to find like a really good average. All right, I'm getting some of this base color in. And I need some more water. I don't think we have enough water. I need to go grab some more water. I'll be right back. Please. All right, I'm just over here stippling away. Stippling and up. man, Jamie's got those good, crazy camera angles. There. Good, or are you just teasing me? All right, just don't move the camera. They can see the entire thing. All right. <laughs> All right. Fine. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, 
Britt Morris says, Jamie is so sweet. Us married couples that have been together for 15 or more years know how to get along even when we talk over each other. <laughs> yeah, like I honestly don't even notice that it's happening. And when I interrupt her, I don't notice that I've done that either. It's just, you know, we just, we casually just have a conversation and that's the way we communicate. And a lot of times we're talking about the same thing. Like when we go places, Tell like the stories. events at, at like when we were over at Debbie's I was telling a story to someone and and uh, it was Sarah from uh, the tarnished pearl and she's like funny thing Jamie just told me that when I talked to her five minutes ago so you know it's, we're just trying to say the same thing at the same time as what's happening yeah it happens <laughs> one of the things that happens a lot too is that I am like a really strong female personality and so a lot of times people just notice that and they don't notice Zeb as much because he's just a softer personality, but it does happen. And you know what else I think is funny? The people that say that you talk over each other, if you watch them and they're with their friends or people they're really excited about, they do it the same thing, but the difference is that they're not being recorded on TV. Yeah. So it's like- You notice it more when it's a recorded. <laughs> It's kind of like the pot calling the kettle black. It's all right. We're used to it. People, people, it's like people ask us paint questions and they ask why we talk over each other. It's whatever. It's what we do. <laughs> we answer paint questions. It's all right. Where you, when you put yourself out there on TV, it just kind of happens. All right. I think this is looking good. We're getting some of the... I, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll bring them in. Let me let me take it darker, flying. This darker, like mermaid tail color. I kind of want to add some more in here, so I'm gonna go over the top. All right, let me squeeze by you here, and I'll see if I can add okay. a little more depth to the camera angle. Oh, you're going over the top some more. Yeah, you can do that. People sometimes don't know that you can, but you can. I feel like with faux finishes, it's really about layers. So first you don't get what you want, layer, layer again. So not enough of the salt wash wasn't coming through for you? Yeah. All right, let me get that heat gun. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, that needs to dry. Let me just pass you the heat gun. Oh, is the heat gun or is it? It's way over here. All right. Want me to pass it underneath or should you want me to dry it? I'll just part? use this other one. You dry that part. We'll do some heat gunning. So if you guys want farmhouse updates, if you don't follow us at Jamie Ray Vintage on Instagram, Jamie does a lot of posting there too of like things that are going on. And in stories, Instagram stories too. Yeah, the Instagram stories is where to see a lot of that. try to post in YouTube stories quite a bit and I've started Pinterest has stories now so I've been trying to do all the things sometimes it's hard to keep them all updated oh do you trip the breaker it's just right here I'll turn mine off okay I'll put mine on low and see if that helps all right Ooh, lots of comments. Oh, Caitlin put the link in there. Thanks, Caitlin. All right, can you pass me the salt washing? Yep. The name of my shirt, hold on. Um, this shirt is called the Stripe Shirt with Accent Pocket. I, I put it on right before we went live. It's really soft and comfy. It's almost like a sweatshirt, but not like super thick. We need Tina 
now we're working on a mirror. We're trying to do lots of layers, so lots of heat gun action. Caitlin's probably actually doing schoolwork with her boys. They, she homeschools them right now, like through the district, and mornings are their school time. Oh, kicked it off again. Our kids' fall break starts tomorrow, but my kids were like, yeah, we're not actually doing anything in class, so my little kids started fall break a day early. Well, they had a half day today, and it was basically like, make sure your desk is cleaned out, and yeah. we're going to have like three recesses. Oh, Delia's at school today making up a test, or I would have let her stay home too, because she didn't even get done cheering until midnight. She's trying to bring a high C up to a B. The rest of her grades are A's, which is really good, considering she's been doing cheer for like four hours a night every day. Yeah. I think it's only two, but it feels like four. Well, after driving she cheers, and then she's been doing tumbling. Yeah. Um, to private tumbling lessons, and she threw her back handspring the other day, and it was super, whoa, exciting. I gotta be careful. Taking the chair with you? Taking the chair with me when I'm just leaning over. That's what Zeb and I do when we have spare time as we watch our kids cheer and do, oh, you know what? That's kind of cool. It's like a wash effect. Oh, with it wet? Yeah, with it wet. Maybe do that over there, too. Just kind of smear the mermaid tail. I like that. Melissa Kaufman says, no way it could, no way my husband and I could do that together. He hates painting, and I'm very controlling when I am painting. Well, when you're going for a certain look, you gotta, you got to speak your mind on what you want. Otherwise, you won't get it. <laughs> the reality is you just have to not care that much, like... I think some people are super worried that it might not be exactly perfect, and I'm like, yeah, if I do a little and he does a little, it's a little bit more organic. It's not so, like, pre-thought out. It makes it even better. Denise, we're, we're going to be bringing more of that green in with the uh, the mermaid tail. It's it's kind of getting, it's getting there, and we'll we got a lot of layers to go still. You, you guys got lots of watching to do, so I'm just blending the paint. Pulling back some of this original silver color here. All right, I like this look. This is good. I gotta fix this part right here. I'm just using a damp paper towel to kind of blend this top coat on that I did of the mermaid tail. All right, I think I'm ready for... Nancy Crippen, yeah, there are a lot of rays in Arizona. That's where we're from. And Ray Road that runs down through Chandler is named after my great grandpa. He owned a big ranch out there. And if there's rays down in Phoenix and Mesa area, there is like a 99% chance that they're my cousins or aunts and uncles. Yeah, we have a lot of, and then in Utah, we have a lot of Petersons and um, Savages that yep. were related to, well, Deb's family is. My family's from like Michigan and Texas. All right, that's good. When you do that side, will you blend it so it looks kind of like this? Yeah, you want it wet, more wet. Yeah, more wet and just like pull the mermaid tail across it. And I feel like that's a really good look. Because okay. this, this paint is water soluble, which means if you get it wet, it activates it and you can actually almost like blend the bottom to the top, which is awesome. Also hatches, if you're, if you're related to hatches, there's a good chance. <laughs> Because what happens with old paint finishes, guys, is there's like a layer, and then another layer, and then another layer. It's just so many layers. And chunks. That's what the salt wash comes in handy, because you really get those chunks on there. And we'll bring you in close so you can see this mirror. Alright, so the thing is, when you get to the pennies from heaven, just know that... This has a built-in sealer in it, so anywhere the pennies from heaven dries is no longer going to be water soluble. But I like to put like clear wax and darken decrepit dust over this pennies from heaven because then you get the really grungy aged effect. So I'm just going to kind of get my brush mostly dry. So I can dry brush that on there, on the details. And we might not achieve like an exact verdigree look. Aged metal is what we're kind of going for. I think verdigree means a lot of things to a lot of people. It, you know, I've seen verdigree like, oh, I think I rubbed too much paint off. It's all right. Like way across the spectrum. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it goes all over the place. Okay, so when I'm doing a look like this, 
I just kind of like to hit the high parts and I don't like it to be brush strokey. That's why it's really important to do the stippling technique because if you just bring your brush over the top, it just hits the high parts and it doesn't look like brush strokes. It just looks like copper patina poking through. So don't push hard when you're doing this. Sorry, I've got little bits of paper towel, otherwise known as additional texture. Zeb's reading comments over there. Are we doing good staying on top of comments? Uh, there, we're having a conversation among them. <laughs> the nice thing about the, doing a technique like this, pennies from heaven, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of expensive for a little bottle, but this is the, this is the only bottle we've ever opened, right? I don't think we've opened more than one. No, that's the first one from the release. It doesn't we've take, used it quite a bit. It doesn't take hardly any at all to get this kind of effect, and it's very, very thin, so you don't use a lot of it. Elva, I don't think we're going to put a transfer on it at this time. I think we're going to leave no, it as a I mirror, but we'll see what it ends up looking like. I don't think I have a transfer I want to use on it, but, you know, we'll see. Becky Hett, your, your, your French country decoupage paper dreams may be coming true. I'm working on working stuff on right now. I told Zeb we got to have our design scale down by the end of the week so we can get them in and ordered. Besides the farmhouse, we still have to run a business. <laughs> yeah. We have a bunch of retailers that carry our stencils, so you'll be able to get them from us, but also from any of our retailers that decide to carry the decoupage papers. So if you have a JRV stencil retailer that you love and you're interested in the decoupage papers, let them know, hey, when Jamie releases those to you guys, order some because I want some. I can't keep up with comments because your phone is on low battery mode and it keeps killing oh, itself. Oh, I'm out. sorry. I don't know why it's on low battery mode. I was Cause you, Because you hit power saver when you when it asks you if you wanted to. Oh. I always tell you no. All right. I'm just dry brushing this copper across the top. Zeb, you want to bring them in so they can see this? Yeah. You get this effect by having texture and having a very, very dry brush. There's almost all no paint on here. So you can see the difference between this and that area there. It's definitely lending itself to some awesomeness. I actually think I'm gonna need a little bit of white wax to add like, I like that. If you add a little white wax to a few areas, that helps out. And this will get darker when we clear wax it. Should we clear wax it first, Deb, and then? Um, it's hard. Yeah, because if we don't, that white wax is going to be hard and to And I also control. wanted to use some decrepit dust. All right. These colors are going to get a lot more vibrant when we clear Crescent wax Crescent Moon Cottage, we are on top of, well, I should say Caitlin is on top of getting the new iPhone 12s for us. So you guys might be getting even better and crisper video because we use our phones to film all mm -hmm. our videos since the iphone 11 because the camera just got so good on it so i don't i don't i have a really nice dslr camera that i used to film with and i haven't even used it in a year like i'm thinking about just selling it <laughs> so that mermaid tail that i blended you just got this really nice soft effect between the prom queen and the mermaid tail. And then everywhere that we stippled or had salt wash, we've got yummy texture. The stippling is a little bit softer. The salt wash is a little bit deeper as far as the texture goes. That's why it's good to have both effects going on. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is come with some clear wax. Clear wax. Sorry, I've been changing the camera angle a lot on you guys today, trying to help you see this better. All these little effects and details. Where would the clear wax be dark? Did you bring clear wax over there yet, Seth? Um, I don't see any clear wax over here. Check right underneath you. There's a basket, and it's got a bunch of paint supplies that we hauled to the farmhouse when we were doing a project yeah, over there. Okay. Clear. Oh, there's clear wax on the table. Sorry. <laughs> and a warning. Don't all married couples talk over each other? I thought that was a requirement. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> some of them do. 
was reading this post on Facebook the other day, and it was this guy asking questions, and he was like, do you fight with your spouse? And these people were like, we never fight, it doesn't work. And I'm just like, do you talk? <laughs> like, Zeb and I don't necessarily like get super mad at each other, we won't stay mad, but sometimes we get passionate about things that we're talking about. I think the key is to just Oh no, Jane, happy. all right, I'll stop moving the camera so much, or I'll let you know so you can look away. She's got new glasses and it's making her sick. Oh no. But yay for new glasses. All right, so you can see this is getting deeper and darker over here. Can you clear wax that. Where we need, wax here? We need, need some more salt wash right here. I don't think I do. I'm just going to keep working on this and I'll let you mimic what I'm doing over there. Well, we'll see if I can. Oh, you can. All right, I'm moving the camera. Look away. You can, you can, you can. I'm just going to get my little buffy out and make sure that this wax is not pulled up anywhere if that happens. That's so much detail. And it kind of doled out my copper, so even though you're not supposed to put top coat over the top of copper, or it's not supposed to top copper over wax, I'm going to. I was like, what was I saying? I'm going to close my eyes and try to be random. Just really get it along the edges. That wasn't very random, it just ended up looking like spots. Spotted dog. It's my favorite type of pudding. So I came back and hit that salt wash mix before, because we've got texture underneath. I'm mostly just using it as a color, so I'm not waiting for it to dry on this, because we want it to smear a little more than it was. Can you open this can for me? Yeah. Okay. Can I also have one of those um, little Frenchies? I'm going to put the white wax on with a little Frenchie because I... Don't want it everywhere. With that screwdriver that you wanted to stir the salt wash with, yeah. What? It's all right. I found another tool. Oh. Do you need a screwdriver? I found a kitchen screwdriver. Okay. Also known as a butter knife. So, so you can do shading with waxes. A lot of people don't think about that, oh. but I do. It's been a minute since we've used this dark. It must have sat in the car. Okay, I got a wax brush for you. Okay. Where are you coming dark at? Um... I'm gonna almost offload this. I don't want it to be. Yeah, I don't want, I don't it, want it to be, be super grunge, ta grunge tastic. Um, I'm just gonna lightly hit the tops here. All right, I'm gonna come around the middle with white then, and then we'll swap. I'll pass this to you. a little bit. I'm just using this Buffy to blend it. If you want a more natural effect with your waxes, if you come back and wipe them back sooner, then you get less brush strokes. I feel like sometimes people wait too long and then they don't achieve that look that they want. All right, do we have a dry paper towel? Yes. So we've got a little bit of white, we've got a little bit of dark, Some we've got multiple tonage here. Copper patina. And I'm just wiping it back. Let's see, did you... Because I'm... we clear waxed it, we have a lot more control with where the dark is going. If we didn't clear wax it, this would be virtually impossible. I'm going to bring you guys in close again. Moving the camera. Okay, you guys can see how that copper is coming through. And we've got the mermaid tail coming through. I feel like the middles are, maybe they're just not dark because the wax didn't get there as much. Well, I don't want wax. They almost have like a halo effect. Yeah, that's good because you don't want wax everywhere. All right, I'm going to keep working on this side, Zeb. Can you? I need to wipe that off before it starts setting in good. Oh, yeah. Let me get the brush to get down in the detail.
and it will change the color a little bit as the wax dries and it will lighten up and it dries at different times so don't be afraid Deb, you're fine these glasses have been making her sick for weeks she says oh. all right so i need a little bit more shine coming through so i'm just going to hit it a little bit more because when you wax the patina it doles it out a little bit there we go that's good Melissa Kaufman, is there a reason you don't take off the mirror so you don't get paint or wax on the mirror? Mostly because we find it hard to tape off clean anyway and we got to go back and inevitably something will get up underneath there and we got to clean it with a razor blade or like a like a plastic scraper anyway so we just wait and clean the mirror at the end. In this case this is an art like a gallery framed mirror. So it has paper over the back. You can't just yeah. unscrew it. So it kind of depends on. Well, and if we can take the mirror out, we will. Yeah, if it unscrews, we do. But in this case. All right, I need you to give me some copper here so we can white wax and oh, okay. dark wax this. Me... Why don't you grab another uh, brush and you can start dry brushing copper on. That would be too smart. That would be too smart. I'm just. Taking, Sorry, I'm walking in front of the camera. Sorry, right, I'm just taking some of the copper off. I'm gonna go light with it. So you're just hitting the edges. Just, yeah, really. you should have like a really dry brush, so it just gets on the the raised parts. That may have gone too heavy. We'll cover it up with something. <laughs> well, sometimes working with a little goes a long way. Yeah, don't be just think of it like when you're stenciling and you dry brush your stencil. On same thing with a copper. Just gonna lightly brush in here to give it a little shimmer. Sure. We're gonna have to add more shimmer. So it's like the base coat of copper, and then you get the little top coat of copper. Because when you wax over it, it gets a little dull. That's good. I like it. I wish you guys could see this in real life. It's hard to get on camera. We're we'll trying to take a real good picture and post it in all those places we were talking about earlier. If you guys ever want to find us on our other social medias, it's all under Jamie Ray Vintage. Yep, at Jamie Ray Vintage on the Instagram, on the Pinterest, on the Facebook. I think this is good right here. I'm liking it. Sometimes I use my fingers. That's an also a really great tool. So say fingers are an amazing painting tool. <laughs> That's right. I have gloves that I've been using to run all the caulk with, and I've gone to just using that and not worrying about oh, the gloves. On the, on the farmhouse. Yeah, on all of the seams for the for the siding. And just a little bit of the original silver color is coming through too in a few spots. Yeah, I think that's helping. Yeah. Helping give it a metallic kind of look. I guess I should read comments. I'll let you finish that. I'm kind of looking at them. You're kind of looking at them. But also was doing this copper with my left hand a minute ago. <laughs> Had to switch it back up. Okay, we're ready for... Did we clear wax that first? Did you dry it off before you clear wax? Yeah, I dried it off. Oh, you need to wet the stress. Oh, you... Did we already? Oh, I don't think we wet distressed it. I wet distressed over here. Oh, yeah, just clear wax, and then I'll come back with white wax, and you can do. I need to put wax. a little more copper on in here, but it'll be alright. After we get done with the waxing, it'll it'll all come together. When you're putting it on thin like this, this uh, pennies from heaven dries pretty quick. Yeah, it well, it, the patina dries pretty quick. Anyway. Clear 
wax. So that way we have a little bit more control of our dark wax and white wax than we put on. Which brush were you using for the white wax? Um, I'm just gonna go this with one here, but I need to clear wax at first. So I'm gonna, me... I'm gonna swap you here. You just keep working from over there and I'll clear wax this. Okay. Here, trade me. There you go. How healthy your wax, how much were you using? I'm just adding a little. Oh, now, I, now I feel like, oh, I want to add a little bit more white wax here. <laughs> just get it in the corners so that it looks like it's got. Like built uh, up? Yeah. Like that oxidation buildup? Yeah. Oh, the layers of the wax. white and then I'll just okay. come through with some brown. I went real light just kind of on the tops and the edges. Okay. Were you mostly on the corner? Ooh, I'm going real heavy with this. I'll have to wipe it back. <laughs> I don't like when I hear, oh, I'm going real heavy with this. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Buffer, 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 buffer. Let's see if we can get a cohesive look with both of us working. I don't know. This. Like, is that even a possibility here? I don't know. I think it's actually good if parts of your pieces aren't all exactly the same. Because, like I said, if this was Pierre's from the barn in a French chateau in the south of France, it would not be all even because things don't age that way. Sometimes, Seb, you got to let it go. Okay. All right, here's the buffer. Did you, you buff this? This is already buffed. I'm just gonna come back and hit some spots with the copper patina now. They need a little bit more shimmer. Okay, you you got the dark wax and yep. buff that, and you buffed this one too? Yeah. Okay. Just putting back some copper where it kind of got doled out. Can you hand me the dark wax? Sure can. There you go. You need a little more? Yeah. Don't forget to hit the sides. Yep. All right. We have some areas like in the inside of the mirror where there's not a lot of paint. So I'm just going to hit that with copper because this patina has a sealer in it. We'll probably have to use a razor blade a little bit on the inside to get it off the glass, but it will come off. Yeah. We're almost done. Yeah, well, we're almost out of time, too. Oh, well, then it's good that we're almost done. All right, <laughs> I have done the dry brush final copper patina over here. I feel like you need more dark over there or something. Where at? Where on that side. At? Cause see how it's done oh, here, yeah. and then you need to rub it in with that. I, I probably wiped a lot back while it was still wet there. Yeah, that's too dark. A little fine tuning, and then sometimes I come back when I completely dry, and I'm like, oh yeah, let me add a little here, left, add a little there. Sometimes you have to step away from your project. That helps. Okay, let's see what we got question-wise here. I'm just going in here with real light hand. I'm not pushing very hard, just kind of trying to hit the details on these leaves and things. Amy says, is, I'm afraid to use dark wax. Is there a safe first project? I would say home decor with lots of detail. Make sure to clear wax at first and just pick something that's like super detailed because that's where dark wax shines. Clear wax at first and then wipe that dark wax off as soon as you put it on and rub it in. And then you get kind of the feel for it. And as you get used to it, you kind of know what works and what doesn't work. Don't try like your grandma's priceless buffet 
that's been in the family for 200 years. Like just small home decor is always a great way. A mirror is good, especially a mirror with detail, but make sure it's got texture because if you don't have texture, then you just get kind of a dirty wax look and you don't get the beautiful highs and lows, which is what we're really going for. Janet, black wax is scary. It's not scary. You know what's scary? Doing your taxes is scary. Black wax? No. How's Harrington doing at college? Tina, he's doing great. He works a lot. He wrestles a lot. He's getting really good grades in school. And when he's when he has spare time, he plays video games a little bit in his dorm room. Saturday night, I FaceTimed him, and I was like, where's your roommate? He's like, he's out drinking with the... <laughs> with a wrestling team and I'm like huh well I'm glad you're at home he's like yeah I don't got time for that crap I'm like and that's my boy all right I'm gonna give you the uh, the close pan we'll get a good picture of this with all the mirror cleaned up and everything once it's dry probably later this afternoon yeah prom queen and mermaid tail together really do make a great French country look. This is really similar to some of the things that we saw when we were in Marie Antoinette's um, palace. She had a lot of the lighter blues and pinks with some of the deeper colors and the metallics. She also had a lot of yellow. Her she had a lot of yellow. Room. The yellow was beautiful. <laughs> All right, so I think this is looking great. We're gonna let this dry. We'll buff it really good. We'll clean the glass and then we'll get this listed tomorrow for the Stay at Home Shopping Network. Um, normally we'd sell this in the shop for around hundred dollars. When we ship mirrors, we always add an extra 20 bucks to the price because they require a lot of effort. So this will probably be about $120. It's basically a shipping and handling fee because by the time we wrap them up, it's like an hour of someone's time. The copper is not a powder. It's a liquid patina. So it's clear and thin and you just kind of dry brush it on and it has a built in sealer in it. So. All right, I hope this inspires you to make over some mirrors. I'm really glad that we didn't sell this one for 10 bucks because now it's going to be a $100 mirror with just a little bit of our time and really very little product. Mirrors don't take much paint. Be sure to hit up jamierayvintage.com if you're interested in the pennies from heaven, prom queen, salt wash, mermaid tail, and all of the waxes and brushes. Um, hit up jrbhome.com to look for home decor. You guys, Christmas is in and a lot of the Christmas stuff at JRB Home, my manufacturers are sold out for the season. So I'm really glad I got my orders in when I did, but I won't be reordering a lot of it. So if there's something you love, definitely do not wait. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And husband and wife masterpieces. Do, 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 do. Love you guys, have a great Wednesday. Catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.